Welcome to Defending Digital. I'm Chad Warner. Today I'm going to show you how to increase the security and privacy of your Instagram account. We're spending most of the time in the Instagram website at Instagram.com, uh, and there are a few of the settings that we'll have to make inside of the app, and I'll show you how to do that as well. So you'll log in at Instagram.com with the same username and password that you'd use on the app, and then you'll click the uh, this user or person icon that will take you to, take you to this page, which is the profile page. Uh, then you can click edit profile and you will land here and you'll see there's this menu here on the left side and we'll walk through a few of those areas so uh, we'll start with edit profile uh, so here you can put in a bio and you want to be careful about what you put here because this is going to be public uh, even if you set your account to private uh, your posts will then become private, but not your bio or your uh, profile photo. So you do still want to make sure that you're not revealing too much information that could be used against you there. Then change password. So here you can uh, set a password, and I recommend that this be a long, strong password, which would be 20 or more characters, a mix of uppercase, lowercase numbers, and special characters. And you want to use a new password here, not one that you've ever used anywhere else. Uh, I recommend using a password manager like LastPass. So you'll see here I have these icons that are added by LastPass. So I could click here and uh, generate and fill a password. And if I want to see what it's doing here, so I have mine set to 20 characters and all of the character classes. So I'm going to get a really nice password like that. And that makes it easy because then you can just store that in LastPass and have it there available forever. All right, and then authorized applications. Um, so if you have any third-party applications that you've authorized to access your Instagram account, they'll be listed here. And if there are any that really don't need access to your account, definitely remove those. Down to manage contacts. So if you've previously uploaded any contacts to Instagram, you can see them here and then you can delete them all. Then you've got privacy and security and there are several settings in here. So you have account privacy. So you can Make your account private if you want. And here it says, when your account is private, only people you approve can see your photos and videos on Instagram. Your existing followers won't be affected. So if you don't need your post to be public to the world, go ahead and check this box. This makes your posts private, which are only visible to the people that you approve. Now this does defeat the purpose for which many people use Instagram, but not everyone needs to make their posts public. And Instagram does have uh, more details on their website about how that works. Then there's activity status, and here it says, allow accounts you follow and anyone you message to see when you were last active on Instagram apps. When this is turned off, you won't be able to see the activity status of other accounts. So I'm not a fan of sharing activity status because it reveals behavioral patterns about when you use your accounts. So you can choose to keep that on if you really want to, but I like to leave that off. Then you have a couple of options for photos of you. Now, by default, when someone tags a photo or video of you, it will be automatically added to your profile. Uh, when you choose to add photos and videos manually, they appear only when you approve them. Um, so if you check into Instagram regularly and you'll notice that, uh, that you've been automatically tagged, then it's probably fine to leave that on. But if you don't check often or if you just want to be uh, extra careful, you can choose to add manually. Then two-factor authentication. Uh, so here, uh, if this is not on already, you'll need to turn it on on the Instagram app. There's not a way to enable this from the website. Um, if you have it enabled already here, you can go and um, see the options. But in order to set it up, you know, do that on the app. And that looks like this. So this is a screenshot from my phone. Um, so you go in here and you can choose text message or authentication app. Um, I recommend the authentication app option because text messages can be spoofed and intercepted. So it, it really is more secure to use the authentication app. And you can use something like Authy, which is what I use, or Google Authenticator uh, or Duo. So there are a few different um, authentication app options, but that's the one that I recommend using there. When you set that up, you will have the option to create some recovery codes. And as it says here, if you lose your phone or you can't receive a code uh, via text message or authentication app, then you can use these codes. So it's going to give you a list of them. Uh, and I definitely recommend saving these somewhere. Uh, it's pretty convenient to just put those into your password manager along with the password for Instagram. Um, I like to use the notes field in LastPass. 
and it will give you several of these and you can uh, just record them there for future use. Uh, another section that you need to do through your mobile device is uh, payments. So there's not anywhere, if we look in here, there's not anywhere to uh, work with payment settings inside of the uh, account on the website. But if you go into the app, um, you'll see there are payments and you can set your payment methods. Um, definitely only add those if you really need them. Um, and if you are using payment methods inside the Instagram app, then I recommend setting a security pin, which basically means that uh, someone uh, would need to go through the extra steps, and maybe that someone is you, through the extra steps of uh, you entering a PIN every time that you want to make a payment. But that does add uh, additional security to the account. Um, some other things that you can do here. So um, add settings. Um, there's nowhere in Instagram, uh, in the website or the app that you can choose your ad settings or your preferences, um, but that can be done inside of your Facebook account because Facebook owns Google, uh, sorry, Facebook owns Instagram, and so uh, uses uh, the same settings there. And in the guide that goes along with this video, um, I've got a link over to uh, my Facebook security and privacy guide. And uh, in there, we've got a section on ad settings, yeah, ad preferences. Um, so you can just click that link and that'll take you over to Facebook if you have a Facebook account and you can uh, set all of your ad settings there. All right, um, so that's about all you can do uh, inside of uh, your settings for Instagram, but a few other things that you can do to be safe in using Instagram. Uh, I recommend not adding your location to your posts so that you're not constantly revealing your location. Uh, and I have a, a whole post uh, kind of on that topic uh, which discusses the, the dangers of saving or uh, sharing your um, location online. Um, so that's in don't post about travel before or while you're away. Uh, basically, just that informs uh, people who could be fraudsters or scammers or even thieves that you are traveling. Uh, not, not good to do. So um, if you have set your Instagram account to private, then your posts are only visible to people you approve. And uh, so if you get a request um, for... Um, someone to be able to follow you, then it's a good idea to verify that person's identity, make sure that they actually, uh, they're actually they the actual owner of that Instagram account that's requesting, um, and that they truly did send that request. Uh, you could ask them in person or through some other trusted channel that you've previously used to communicate with them. Maybe that's email or some other social media or text, uh, phone call. Uh, or if you have some mutual friend, you could ask them to confirm their identity. If you use Instagram on someone else's device, their computer, phone, or tablet, uh, make sure that you log out when you're finished. Otherwise, as soon as you walk away, that person can use Instagram as you. Uh, just as you need to be careful about clicking links in email and other messages, make sure that you're careful about clicking links in Instagram messages. And regardless of whether your posts are public or private, be careful about what you post. I've seen picture, people post pictures of credit cards and plane tickets and post that they're on vacation, far from home. So you just want to be very wise about what you share with others. Uh, if you want to remove the location from past posts, uh, go ahead and tap the location name on that post. And then you can, uh, if you're on an Apple device, you can remove location. Um, or uh, if you're on Android, you can just click X um, where it has uh, a place to uh, change the location. And make sure that you think carefully before you authorize a third-party app on your Instagram account. Make sure you know what permissions they're going to receive, um, you know, what data they're going to get, what, what they can do with your account, and regularly go in and review those third parties. So as we uh, looked at in here, um, if we go down to the uh, authorized applications, you want to go and check that fairly often uh, just to see uh, who has uh, access to your account and just remove anyone that no longer needs it. Uh, if you find that your account is uh, posting things that you did not post, then it may be that your account's been hacked. Uh, and Instagram has uh, some steps on uh, how to regain control of your account. And we can open that up here. So again, this is linked uh, from the corresponding guide here. And they say, you know, if, if you're noticing unauthorized content or you think your account's been hacked, and you can expand these and go through the steps to uh, regain control of your account. And uh, be careful about sharing Instagram posts outside of Instagram. So a lot of people have their Instagram accounts linked to Twitter or Facebook or some other platform. Um, just be aware that if you have your Instagram set to private, 
and then you are linking it to say your Twitter account, which is public, then suddenly those posts are gonna be public on Twitter. So you just need to be aware of what you have linked and how those things are being shared out. So again, um, at defendingdigital.com, we've got resources, including security and privacy guides, and that's where you can find this one on Instagram, as well as others on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Amazon, and other sites and apps. So you can learn more at defendingdigital.com.